Okay, so I'm going to continue. This is um, chapter 4, problem 4. Chapter 24, problem 4. It's late. Um, and we're going to set up the curve table for your incremental chord, your deflection increments, deflection angles, and total chords. I went back and tweaked my R. So this is um, straight out of your textbook. This is problem four in the back of the chapter. Um, and I solved my R out a little bit farther this time. Instead of um, cutting it off at 0.68, I went ahead and solved it all the way out. So I kept it um, to as many decimal places as, as I could. So it changed my T just a little bit, and it changed my PC and my PT. Um, so again, this is just a continuation of problem four on page 755, and we want to set up the curve table. So um, I made a, a curve table. I put stations, incremental cur chord, deflection increments, deflection angles, and total chords, and I'm not going to fill it in. I'll fill it in with you guys. Um, so I wrote on the bottom, 33 plus 40, 47. That was our PC. And then I went to the next even station. So 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 39 plus 40.43. 47, excuse me. So how to get the incremental chords, um, how you solve for them is just the difference between the two stations. So if I'm looking at 34 plus 00, zero minus the 33 plus, you'll get 59. So there's where that comes into play. And then the difference between the 34 and 35 is 100 and 36 and 35 is 100, 37 and 36 is 100, 38 and 37 is 100, 39 to 38 is 100, and then the last one is 40.47. All right, so the first calculation we need to do next is... is the um, deflection increments. And that's, we'll be using equation 2412A. Theta ankles equals your SA times D divided by 200. So that's what we're going to use to solve. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll up. So the first one um, is 59.53. Now our D in our problem now is four degrees. And when you solve that, you should get So it's your 59.53 times D, which is 4, divided by 200. So 200 is a constant. So I got 1 degree 11 minutes 26 seconds. So when you put it in your calculator, you will get decimal degrees. And so just convert that decimal degrees to degrees, minutes, and seconds. So that will be for the first one. For the next ones that are all 100, that would be 100 times the 4 divided by 200. So you should get 2 degrees. And then for the last one, 
that would be the 40.47. The only thing that's changing is your um, is your distance. So my last one I got um, 0 degrees 48 minutes and 34 seconds. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and come back up and plug these in my chart now. So for the first one, let me make it bigger. So for my first one, I've got one degree. Eleven minutes and twenty six seconds. And two degrees for all of these. And I'm just going to copy and paste because every one that are a hundred are going to be the same. And then my last one was zero degrees. 48 minutes and 34 seconds. Okay. All right, so the next column is your deflection angles. And so this is just going to be um, where we're, it's just going to be adding. So the very first column, for, very first line is that one degree. So you're going to come straight over with that. One degrees, 11 minutes, 26 seconds. And then to get for 35, we're just going to add 2 degrees to it. So that would give us 3 degrees, 11 minutes, and 26 seconds. And I'm going to add 2 more degrees to it because it's whatever your deflection increment is. So that's 5 degrees, 11 minutes, 26 seconds. That's going to be 7 degrees, 11 minutes, 26 seconds. I'm going to add two more. So that'll be 9 degrees, 11 minutes, 26 seconds. Last one, We've got two more, 11 degrees. 11 minutes, 26 seconds. And the last one, I'm going to add the 0 degrees, 48 minutes, 34 seconds to it. And you should get... So remember, um, I told you, your deflection angle once you get to the end, that should always be I over 2. So I is 24 degrees, and if you take um, I divided by 2, there's 12 degrees. So we know that we're good. So everything's good to this point. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this, because the last thing we got to do is do our total chords. So the last column will be total chords. And what we'll be using is these deflection angles and um, we'll need R. So I'm going to... So for the last column, the formula we need is the CA, which is, we're going to do our total chords, which will be 2R sine and then our deflection. So we'll be using these deflection angles. So this is deflection angle and 2R. So I'm, since I see that 2R is the same with all of them, I'm going to go ahead and come up. Because you're going to have to calculate each one of these by hand. So they can't, there's not like an easy way to do them. So I already know that the formula is going to be CA 2R sine the deflection. Okay, 
So since I know 2 times r, so I'm going to go ahead and figure out 2 times r. Um, and I had my r calculated all the way out, and I'm going to keep it all the way And that's 1432.685417. So I'm doing the 2 times r to go ahead and get that. And just, I'm going to keep it just to two decimal places, but that way I don't have to go back and add it all in again. So when I said 2 times r, I got 28. 65.37. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and solve for the first one. So it's 2 times r, so I'm going to just write 65.37 and then sine of your one degree, 11 minutes, 26 seconds. When I calculated that, I got 59.54. And that would be to station 34. So I'm right, 34. To go to 35, I'm going to write the 2R. And then it's going to be your sign. And you're going to use your total deflection angle. So that would be the 3 degrees, 11 minutes, 26 seconds. And I got solved for that. I got 159.48. So here's some, you know, some, something that the class has done before and I don't want you to make the same mistake. So if I'm going back up here to fill this one in, this total chord would be 59.54. Well, I've just seen some of them add 100 feet to it and say it's 159.54. You can't do that. You have to plug back in the formula to R sign this deflection angle. So actually that should be 159.48. And so for each um, equation, you just have to sub out the deflection angle. So if I'm going to go to station 36, so for 36, it's going to be your 2865.5. Sign your 5 degrees, 11 minutes and 26 seconds. And I got 259.23. And so 37. So the only thing I'm going to be changing out is the sign of the angle. So that would be 7 degrees. And you would do that for the remainder. And I'm going to go ahead and just for sake purposes, I'm going to skip on down and do the last one, which would be the 39 plus 447, which would be 2865.37, and it's sine 12 degrees. And I got 5 95.74. So I'm going to go ahead and plug these in. I'm going to fill them in. So I got 259. And then 
the last one is 595.74. Well, if I look back at the problem and saw, saw what we saw for LC, and when I saw for LC for the problem in the last video, that checks out because I got um, for LC, which is 2R sine I divided by 2, I got 595.74. So that's a check to make sure your math is right. Now the last adjustment is you would adjust for these incremental chords in between here. So you're still going to use this last equation 2413, but instead of your total deflection angles, you would do deflection increments. I'll give you one example. I'll do the one that has 100 there. I'm going to go ahead at the bottom. And we're going to use same equation. 2R sine. And this time you're going to use, I'm going to use the one that's the 2 degrees. So if I'd say 2865.37. Because that's 2 times R times sine 2 degrees. I think I when I got it, I, it rounded up to 99.99. Um, let me check it in my calculator again. If I keep it all the way out, it would. But you remember how I was telling you in, in your chapter, page 720, there is the table 24.1. For a degree of curve, those true chords should be 99.98. So if I probably would have kept R all the way out and plugged it back in again, it would have probably gave that to me. So I'm going to say times sine over sine times 2. So I got 2865.37 times sine 2. So I got 99.999. So if you don't keep it all the way out, um, I should have kept this all the way out and you would have saw it would have came out to the 99.98. So you should go back up and check the incremental chords um, and based off R. And like I said, if I put my R all the way in, I'm going to keep it, so I'm going to do the sine of 2 degrees and multiply it times 2 times, and I'm going to keep the R all the way in to the, it still gives me 99.99. So I'm not quite sure because my deflection increments are 99.99 for 4, and they got 99.98. So... All right, but that's just a quick example. So I'm going to save this, and I'm going to save the video, and I'm going to post it to Blackboard.